morning, guys. How y'all living out there this morning? <clears throat> I say I got to reroute. When school done started back in, honey, this traffic is on 12. So, this Tiki got to... They done done so much construction on our freeways down. I think they opened up another area where I can get on. I don't have to sit in that long ass line. Only thing about over here, I gotta be careful. School zone, people going to school. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy hump day, guys. Happy hump day. Is it a school zone right here? Slow down. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna discuss some of uh, Love and Hip Hop, and I'm gonna do a little chit chat with it. So, cause people not really into the uh, review. Not at all. Okay, right quick, fast, and in a hurry. Nicki Minaj had an uh, interview. <laughs> well, Nicki Minaj was on Queen Radio. Let me rephrase that. Nicki Minaj, I don't know. She was talking to Joe Budden. I didn't get to see it all, so I might be a little bit here, there, everywhere. And she was pissed off about what the ham sandwich was going on, honey. Nicki was going in, okay? But first, let me say this. Trina was upset they did a single together. You know, everybody's... She got on with this Meg the Stallion, which everybody in the industry say what they do is get on with the hot people like Drake to keep their names out there and keep themselves going. They're not, you know, crazy. That's what they do. So she has got on with uh, Meg the Stallion because Meg the Stallion right now is creating a lot of uh, publicity on this uh, internet. She's a hot girl summer, you know. She's got it popping right now. Everybody is Meg the Stallion, Meg the Stallion, Meg the Stallion, which I really appreciate her. Um, her rapping ain't all that great, but she's only what, 18, 19, you guys? So she can only get better. She can only get better, okay? So Meg the Stallion and Nikki done linked up and uh, Trina gets into her feelings because they did a single together and I guess there was no video for BAPS. I think that's the name of the single Trina and Nikki did. Long story short, Nikki say when she link up with anybody, she always asked them, do you have budget for a video? And uh, Hub Lane entrance. Now we finna enter on here and we gonna come off the Hub Lane, okay? US 95. Anyway, y'all, they done opened up so many new entrances out here. I guess this out of town is growing like crazy. I mean, it started with just mountains and stuff. But now, honey, we got freeways everywhere. And uh, y'all, Las Vegas is just growing. It's growing. So, Nikki says she asked him when she started, do you have a budget to do a video? Well, I guess... Trina being an independent um, um, celebrity entertainer. Ooh, you gonna stop or you gonna keep going? With her being an um, I guess this is not okay. You can enter anyway. With her being an entertainer, an independent entertainer. I'm glad I didn't get on that way. <laughs> I would have been on the wrong way. Lord Jesus. She has to, you know, foot everything. Make a long story short, Trina got in her feelings because she feel like Nikki didn't support her like she has Meg the Stallion. And uh, the bottom line is she didn't have a budget. Oh, y'all, thank God. This is way more better. I mean, this is like a big, big difference. All this right here, Centennial. Just how much it has grown. And this is why I normally get on that with all that traffic. But um, bottom line, while uh, Nikki's on Queen Radio, Joe Budden <laughs> wants to ask the question, is she on drugs? And she go off. I mean, Nikki goes off. Nikki, why you get so mad? All you had to do is say, are you on drugs? Because you know that ninja on drugs. 
And the only reason he did that was to deflect off of his drug usage. Honey, she cussed she, till she got tired. She talked about Charlemagne ass. She said Charlemagne basically took her ex side safari and uh, they done kind of banned her from up there at the breakfast club but now I think safari since he dating Erica Mena he done got banned from the safari I mean the breakfast club y'all it's just too much press 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 she talked about cardiacs too F that be okay anyway make a long story short honey Miss Nikki showed out Miss Nikki showed out. She even came for the black women. She even talked about folks who talked about her boyfriend slash new husband. Okay? So, um, Wendy Williams, white quick fast in a hurry. Wendy Williams knew her husband was cheap. She said she stayed in the marriage till her son graduated, went on to college, and then she exited the relationship. So, one thing about a woman, they always got a plan. Okay, we always got a plan. Okay. Let's talk about love and hip hop Hollywood. Let's discuss it right quick, fast, in the herd. Y'all, that damn Monice. Y'all, Monice is just crazy as a Betsy bug. But Monice is on there this morning, pissed off and upset, saying Mona Scott edited that shit to make her look like Dom and Dahmer were hanging out together. That's what they referred to her. And April, Monique says she only shot the scenes because they uh, said that they would promote her music. Her band was there and everything, and nothing that Mona promised her was there. She's pissed. So, Mona, I mean, uh, Moniz is pissed. But anyway, on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, season six, I think we done made it to. Moniz is, she meets with April. She tell April, maybe we should work together. April's sitting there like, huh? She said, my son, Moniz is telling him, Cameron was telling me he went out of town and he think you and his daddy, boyfriend and girlfriend. And April just sitting there, that's my best friend, that's my best friend. Go best friend, you better, you better, bitch. We know you is humping your best friend, okay? So they meet, and uh, she said we need to become, you know, friends. I don't care if you around my baby daddy. I just want someone around my son that's gonna take care of him. This the lie she telling. But this BITC sweetie is bothered, okay? She bothered, okay? She trying to play like she's not bothered, honey. Monique is bothered. Monique done quit taking her medication because she done found out Fizz, not Fizz is handsome and cute and everything, but Fizz is like, Fizz is like he beat up. Fizz is like he going through a rough time in life, okay? Jump around, uh, uh, uh. Don't you come over here. Don't you come over here on, on the, the, the giddy up, Bobel. Anyway, um, She's sitting there, she said, I'm going on tour. Won't you come join me on a tour? I said, anytime my enemy tell me to come hang out with her bitch, you just want to watch me. And I'm supposed to be screwing your man? No go, no. But I guess Mona done told these two, they got to play like they friends, hang out together. And I think these two are friends and they promoting this shit like crazy. Honey, Moniz and April Jones need a raise. Mona Scott. Cause these two got everybody watching Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. I'm sorry. They're doing a great job. Mona Scott, you are a genius. I have to give it to you, girl. You bad. You bad. Anyway. <clears throat> Monique says she's going on tour. Uh, they introduce, um, where are they at? They're at a uh, little get together for K. Michelle. K. Michelle got the surrogate there and she's um, doing a little get together. Monique is her friend, so she invites April to come out and she's talking about how the surrogate is gonna carry her babies, okay? She's thanking her and whatever, whatnot, and they having a get together. Or the Sarakin, okay? And uh <clears throat> I don't know. Moni's 
invited April. Weird, anyway. They all left. So, K. Michelle is like, um, there's another girl there, Brittany. Is that her name? Her name Brittany somebody. She's the young lady that's the, um, the GOAT, allegedly, in the music business. And she signed a lot of people. She's a female artist. Uh, well, not an artist, but I guess a producer. And she's trying to get Black China into the mix. Black China appears again. Go ahead, Black China. I said, y'all know one thing about Black China? Black China has came from being a stripper, uh, just a rapper's baby mama, just the Kardashians baby mama. This girl is GOAT, okay? I'm sorry. Y'all can say what y'all want to about Black Channel. And whoever did her makeup and her hair, she's looking beautiful. And uh, she appears, and she's sitting there talking to Brittany. And Brittany talking about how she's going to get her, you know, popping. Which, it's not going to happen because Black Channel cannot rap. Uh, you, uh, it, uh, uh, bitch, you rap like I do. You can't, Black China. Keep on popping that pool nanny. Keep on selling that uh, flat tummy tea. Keep on dating upcoming rappers, getting about 10 bands to make them famous. Girl, whatever you do, keep doing it. But even going over there to love and hip hop with Mona Scott. But leave a rapping career alone. It's not gonna happen. But Black China is doing it, y'all. She got her own little show on Zoom. Even though her and her mama don't see eye to eye. And I always thought it was Black China fault. But Tokyo Tony, I'm sorry. Girl, you need to, you need to, you need to do better. But anyway, y'all, let me hurry up get through this. Miss Tiki running her mouth too much this morning. Anyway. Um, K. Michelle is there. It's over. And Monique's telling K. Michelle that she got April to join her on her own tour. K. Michelle say, did you let her know you've been kissing on her? Um, did you let her know? Wait, did she let you know she's been kissing all over your baby daddy? And basically, they smashing. And uh, Monique's eyes get big. She say, yeah, as long as y'all be honest to everybody. And she just straight going in on Monique. She said, girl, you batshit crazy. You is um, basically like a stalker. Honey, K. Michelle mouth is reckless. K. Michelle was calling Monique's ass out. And I was like, somebody need to. So anyway, um, April, K. Michelle just straight asked April, are you, uh, are you smashing him? Honey, April face looked like she had seen a ghost. I said, you go, K. That's one thing about your little old bitty ass. Y'all ain't know K. Michelle was so tiny. That's one thing about your little crazy 5150 ass. You is tiny. And she's having all these surgeries and stuff. She's having problems with the um, IBF. The doctor was telling her the eggs that he got, they're not good. And he's, she's probably going to have to go through the procedure again. And uh, K. Michelle, do whatever you got to do. Um, I don't know why everybody acting like this is her first rodeo. She has a son. And I guess because she kept him, you know, out the limelight. A lot of people probably don't realize she has a child. Anyway, moving on. They bring in, um, I don't know, how did, anyway, Apple Watts is introduced. She's back. She links up with Yo-Yo and uh, Corrupt. I guess Yo-Yo is going to be her mentor to help her get back to, you know, get where she needs to be. But honey, Apple Watts is a bad shit crazy. She, she jostling number two. And um, Yo-Yo was telling her, you got it. You got to relax, chill. Why you be online showing out so bad? And, uh, you know, why do you go there? And uh, April, Apple Watts says she trying to better herself. And she trying to let people... You know, stop taking her there. She got a drinking problem. I think she got more than a drinking problem. Anyway, they're somewhere together. And Summer Bunny is introduced. Honey, Apple Watts go 5150 on her ass. And she said, are you the one that's effing everybody's husband? Honey, 
Cardi B. You need to call Apple Watts and say thank you. Thank you for being a friend. Because, honey, she lit into Summer Bunny ass. They were freestyling and Summer Bunny was trying to rap. They were trying to show this girl, Brittany, you know, who got talent or not. Yo-Yo was standing there and whatever, whatnot. But, honey, that Apple Watts came in freestyled on her ass and talked about nothing but what she seen on Instagram. I said, okay, they was battle rapping, but Summer Bunny looked like, bitch, you ain't made for it, girl. It showed me how weak you are. You're not made for them streets. Anyway, Mr. Ray is hanging out with Summer Bunny. And uh, that's his little protege. Then we look up. They all invited to something. Honey, Miss Lyrica shows up in Summer Bunny now. Honey, it goes off. It's on. It's popping. Ray J and uh, Princess is there. Y'all, I'm everywhere. Fast so I can end this. And uh, when Ray J and uh, Princess is there, when they meet Summer Bunny, Ray J just straight out say, don't you know A1? Then Monique, uh, Princess go, you the one that messed up, you know, their relationship because Lyrica was just at my house crying, talking about how bad her relationship is because of you. Honey, Mona Scott. Y'all, let me get my ass out of here. Follow me over there, IG Tiki 44, Facebook Tiki 44. Y'all know I be trying to snap, chat, tally, whack, give a dog a bone. And uh, blessings and blessings and blessings. And no matter what's going on in life, no matter what, y'all don't let the devil steal your joy. Bye, guys. Be blessed.